Hey everybody, this is Junk Journal Craft Chat. Today we're going to be making some collaged elements, maybe to use for journal cards or bookmarks, things like that. Very easy, using up scraps on your desk. And I'm going to be answering some of your crafty questions. And I'm going to be uh, giving away this piece of ephemera. It's wartime, 1944. It's a letter to Mr. Edwin Kimmery. And there is an envelope and a letter included. And uh, the winner is going to be pulled from people who posted comments to last week's craft chat. If you want to enter um, next week's craft chat, you post a comment on this video. And... Um, there you go, then we will see what, uh, uh, who won, and if you win, uh, I'm going to use the YouTube random comment picker, it's working again, and um, you just send me your name, uh, the date that you won, and the piece. So we're going to call this the wartime letter and envelope. If you won the wartime letter and envelope, let me know, and we will pull that a little later in the shoe. Okay, so... Today I have scraps on my desk, yes. Now here's one, I don't have a lot of babies going on in my life right now for friends and family, so I can comfortably use this as a base. It has a nice back on the other side, um, but I think I would like to put glue all over it and do something with it, so let's just do that. All right, these are just fun little easy projects on Fridays. Anybody can do them, it's a great way to mask mix some items so that you have them ready for junk journals. It's also a great way to use up the scraps on your desk. So if you have any scraps on your desk, you just grab them right now. Remember if you're gonna do this, go to the edges, that's very important. And I use Scotch Create glue stick, permanent glue stick, if you can find it. All right, and I'm just gonna randomly clean up my desk. We don't have to deal with these little bits and pieces anymore. They're gonna be used um, wisely hopefully, in this artwork here. So here we go. It's okay if some of the undercut stuff shows because it's still attractive. It has pretty colors and pictures and things like this. And it's a great thing to use for corner stuff. You know what I mean? Like this. Yeah. And I can always, always put down more glue on top of something else. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put down a little more glue here on the side. That on there. Take that all the way up and just put that down there. And so now how quickly this can turn into something pretty cool. I think I need a little more glue here. So how's your day going? I hope you're having a dandy day. Dandy days are good. All right, let's trim that. We'll trim that all off at the end, I think. Okay, here's a Russian bus ticket. We'll use that. And you, you don't have to use real ephemera. You can just use whatever's on your desk. Um, I think I might leave it at that. Or maybe I do have this pretty uh, uh, page tab. You don't always have to use things for what they're designed for, like the original intent. You can just use them as accents, a um, little e extra icing on the cake here for some unknown reason. Could have actually used that for a topper. Oh, it's here now. We'll, see. we'll just leave it. It's fine. Um, okay, I have a craft knife and a nice metal ruler. I gotta get, I don't know where my cork one went. It went somewhere. Um, so I'm just going to shave this off. Make it all nice and flushy pants. And you know, of course I'm getting more scraps out of this, but hey, more to play with. It's all good. All comes back. Yeah, it's great if you can use up the little bits and pieces that are on your desk. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm going to give this another edge because it just looks like it wants a different edge. Okay, now we take a look see what we have. All right, so maybe, just maybe, we're going to grab our old friend, Aquarellable Stabilo Pencil 8046, and we're just going to define some of the edges of this paper because you might not be able to actually see it. So, and also maybe this one, this has a very interesting edge, this paper that was torn. So we're just going to emphasize it. Yep, we're gonna even emphasize that line. And do we have any other line? Oh, maybe go around, around this. And then we're going to need our old friend Q-tip, which is right here. It was a well-used Q-tip. It has another side. Squirt, squirt, squirt. This is hand cup. 
always at the ready. All right, here we go. Soak that baby. And we're just going to smear it. And this is like a, almost like a water, it's a dissolvable graphite pencil. And it allows you to emphasize certain areas by making them pop out, stand out. Almost like focal point enhancement. There we go. Now we're talking. I think I should also, since I'm here, I'm going to go, this is such a beautiful piece, I want to let everybody know it's present. So I'm just going to go right around here. There we go. And bring it into focus. There. So now we have that. Yeah, I know. I know. And then uh, I'm going to take my little corner rounder. This is a crocodile corner chomper. And I'm going to chomp. Make some rounded corners. I think that will look nice. And this is just a very easy, fun way to use up whatever is sitting on your desk. Now, I was a good little mouse and cleaned up all my daubers. I'm going to go back in and pull up my daubers, my brown. Apparently, I've lost my little brown threads. So I'll just have to go on basic instinct that this is brown. I know it is because it's all bent and chewed up. Just the way I like it. Um, gives it a nice little rough edge. Okay, here we go. Okie dokie. Coming around. Mountain. Alrighty. And then maybe look at the back. It might need a little bit. This is a thicker piece of scrapbook paper. So you know how sometimes it comes in thin or thick? Well, this happens to be of the thick variety. And I think I need a little more glue under there. Um, but yeah, it could just make a nice piece. Um, there we go. All right. Cover up my ink. I don't lose it. And I think maybe I'm going to come in with some stickles because I think it needs a little more enhancement, don't you think? I think so too. Yeah. All right. We're coming down the side. And is it plugged? <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to do the needle trick. Yep. It happens every once in a while. It's okay. And mine are probably pretty old, so... This is, if you're wondering what it was, this is liquid pearls in bronze. And it's going to make little cool things. I think I was in there. Was I in there? I imagine. Yeah, yeah. I freed. Whatever it needed to be freed is now freed. Uh, oh, you know, I just see this cute little... Cooking is easy. Doing dishes is the hard part. Boy, do I agree with that. Uh, I think I'm going to add this because I just think it's kind of cool. All right, so little odd things like this that you come across in regular life. This is ephemera. This is um, nostalgic to little odd pieces. Uh, uh, okay. That there. I know, I know. We're going to go around it, emphasize it. Because we're here and we can. There we go. And where is our little Q-tip of love? Here we go, emphasizing, and now we have that. Okay, so now we have added that. Cool, right? Uh, you can buy bags of these things, I'm sure, anywhere in eBay or Etsy or something like that. So if you ever want those, or you could just print your own. How about that? You can probably get lists on Pinterest for them, and then uh, just print your own. We're going to type them out, type it once, and save it forever. Then you've got it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Do, do, do. All right. Do, do. Oh, it's getting smaller. Do you see that? That means the little plug is coming back in there. So we're just going to get in there and clear it out with the pen if I can aim. Oh, I'm in. Okay. And we should be, we should be rocking and rolling now. Yep. There we go again. We're good. Sometimes it just needs a little clearing. You know, when you get a little plugged up, it's important to uh, free the pipes and carry on. Do, do. Okay. That's really kind of cool. I'm going to line this one too. So this is where you just get, this is the artsy fartsy part. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, across here. Okay. Are we feeling it anywhere out down here, you said? Okay, I heard you. I heard you. Sally in the back. Okay. Across top, sure, why not? We're here. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, just made out of scraps. Just things hanging around, you know? 
Got to clean up that desk some way, shape, or form. This is a fun way to do it. Um, we have this hanging out here, doing doing nothing special. So maybe we'll turn it into a a topper because it's here. I'll just fold it. Random folding is kind of fun. Like it doesn't have to be perfectly straight or anything. I think it gives it a little more character. And it, this will become the little topper of this journal card. Yep. All right. Okay, so. Mm. Mm. All right. Whoop, where am I? Here I am. Oh, now I'm going to have to put it right across something. Mm. Mm. Maybe I'll sta staple this down first. Just so it's not so runaway. It's a little runaway, you know what I mean? And you could just glue it, and I could just glue it. But I think, I think, I don't know, just something, something deep inside. So let's just come along with it few little staples and contain this little beast. There we go. We're all contained now. Look at that. I could actually glue it onto the back. Let's do that because then I don't have to muss fuss with the, uh, the stuff on the front, which you know I would love to muss fuss with that. Get the stickles all over the place. I know you're, I'm calling them stickles, but they're liquid pearls. Um, there's no lid on that. That goes in the bucket. And we're going to pick that up and put it back there. There we go. I'll just set you aside to dry. Well, you're kind of cool. Look at you. Okay, let's jump into some of your amazing questions. Let's see what you're wondering about. I love this project. She's referring to the Easy Paper Folder for October DigiKits. Um, how would you put this in a journal? Just slip it in? Yes, um, pretty much any of these items that I make can either be placed inside in between any two pages, any two signatures, they can be paper clipped onto any page. They can be tucked into most pockets, tucks, and belly bands. Um, and you can also layer them to the top or the bottom of your junk journals on the outside. So those are other ways that you can attach them. You can tie them together with your junk journals in like in a bundle form. Um, a lot of different ways that you can add these interesting pieces. So thank you, Kim Hanback, for that question. Um, do you ever, okay, Emily's Paper Caper says, do you ever play with fountain pens? Uh, that might be fun to see. Yes, sure, I would. <laughs> the fountain pens, the pens pay with me, Emily. Um, I have this beautiful collection. Oh, I should show you what I got. Why not? We're here. We're hanging. We're hanging. I'll just grab it. Here's something that I bought and rarely use. Why? Because I failed miserably. That's right. That's right. It was a grand flopperoo in my world. I was trying to be the great calligraphist, and apparently I'm not the great calligraphist um, I am floundering calligraphist who needs a lot more practice. I'm trying to pick this up without mucking it. Okay, I'm going to put you over here on the printer. Okay, so I bought, I went on, you know, the fancy eBay, Etsy, whatever those places are. And I bought, oh no, that's my Mont Blanc pen. Yeah, I don't know why I bought that. Oh, I think I got that in Goodwill for 40 bucks. I don't even know if it's a, um, a real one or not, but it looks like it, but the case is very old. There you go. That wasn't what I was going to show you. These were what I was going to show you. Was it here and here? Oh, yes. Yes, here we go. Here's the pen of fountainness that I have. I don't think this is loaded because I'm scared of it. That's right. I am scared of this instrument. I don't know why I'm scared of it. It just brings fear into my world because I can never get these things to work right. I have tried and I've mi failed miserably. Maybe we'll have a video on how Pam fails miserably at fountain pen 101. Here's the one I tried. I bought this really, I thought I was, I was, thought it was so cool. This gold ink, isn't that cool? That is so cool. And I was going to be writing in gold. I thought, oh, that's the cat's meow, you know? Uh -huh. How do you, uh, okay, can't get the lid off. Um, and I think I had to fill it somehow. There was some kind of filling I had to do. Oh, it's completely empty. I don't, I have no idea what that means. Did I try it? It looks like there's some residue of something in there. Maybe I bought this used? Could be. Don't know. If anybody knows, or is there a good video out there? I know. I could probably go look it up myself. There's this thing, great thing called YouTube. It's great if you want to learn how to do things. Um, yeah, I've heard of it vaguely somewhere in the recesses. Okay, so that's that one. Is there something else in here? No, I, maybe this came in here? 
I have no idea, honestly, but we'll put it in there for now since that has a home. And, oh, I was, let's get other kinds of inks. So this is quink. I don't know what that means. But that looks kind of dark. Maybe black. Oh, this looks like a blue. Blue, black. Is that blue? Blue, black, black, blue. Gold. Ooh. And what are these cartridges? What's that? Oh. Oh, these look like preloaded ink cartridges. Maybe for one of these things. All right, I'll have to do it sometime. I, I got scared. I tried it. It didn't work. I don't know. I got flustered and left. I left the room. You know how it is? You're just like, I'm leaving the room. I don't want anybody to even know that this happened. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. I left the room. Um, has anybody mastered calligraphy or fountain penning? Not this girl. Um, anyway, give it a go. Let's see how you do. <laughs> Maybe you can do better than me. I'm sure you can. Um, yes. Okay. I, I really ought to try it more. Like, give it a serious thing because it does look like fun, honestly. My desk is such a mess again. That's just the way it is around here. Okay. Uh, where's your nail polish? Oh, gosh. I think I peeled all my nail polish off. I had some gel nail polish applied over dip clear dip powder and it sort of all came off so I just peeled it off and I guess I videotaped it and didn't even realize I, I didn't have a nail polish on but not that it matters but um, this is just regular dip I think I think I don't know but anyway this one stayed on there you go flashbacks to summer um okay do you have a neat eye okay that was Mary and too high too hig about the nail polish. And uh, now we have Jan Hulse. Do you have a neat idea to use those torn rough edges that you showed how to trim up? I think I just showed you in that collage. So those were torn rough edges. That's how we use them. Yep. Um, just collage is your best friend. It's a great way to use up scraps. So much fun. Um, Janie Anderson says, how about making this a Christmas tree and folding part of the trunk up for the pocket? Oh yeah, that could be done. Uh, she's looking at the fun book page ideas for a junk journal, beginner tips. Use, uh, you could use pinking shears or you can use tiny embellishments for tree decorations and presents in the pocket. Yes, that's a great idea. Um, you could totally do that. I think it's a fabulous idea, Janie. Thank you. Uh, hey, Pam, where's your gilding paste? In the drawer where I forgot it was. Yep, there you go. Janie Anderson again. Hey, maybe this project would also look good using decorative edge craft scissors. It would. What a great idea. Um, uh, Just Me Valerie says, what a cute idea. Love it and how you decorate it. What else is new? Same uh, video, fun book page ideas for a junk journal, beginner tips. Um, okay. Kez the Fam says, shiplap on the walls. Is that what you're talking about, Lady Pants? <laughs> um, oh, she's talking about the video called Index Cards, which apparently I don't have a title for. Oops. How to use index cards in a junk journal. Oh, okay. Yeah, shiplap. That could be it. Yeah, I think I was doing some type of, like, shingle design. And I think she's absolutely right. Oh, uh, let's see. Sandra. Doobie. Pam, I bought icing bottles from Michael's here in Canada, and of course I use a sewing pin to put in the top of, of the silver top. Problem is I have to squeeze real hard and the glue barely comes out. Oh, I know that feeling. It's terrible. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Can you help? I have no idea. If I need to buy something different, what it's called and what it's looked like, what it looks like. Whoops. Okay, so the icing piping bottle, I wonder if it has hard walls. If your walls are really hard, it's hard to squeeze. It's hard to get the glue out of the tiny metal tip. Also, if your glue is thick because it's been exposed to air too long, it's going to be hard to come out of the tip. Or your tip is seriously clogged on the inside and you can't see it, so you've got to take your tip off and pull out all the glue that dried. So maybe the little pin that goes in the top isn't airtight. It might have air seepage around it, and there you go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. All right. What, what can I tell you? I think that's the, that should cover it. Okay, where are we? Okay, we're good. All right, so let's make something else. Uh, oh, this is pretty. I really like that. This is just the way that came out. This book was made in 1968. That is so cool. That is just so cool. All right, let's find some piece of nonsense here that we want to cover. What is this? I like all of these. I don't want to. I don't want to hide any of them. Oh, but they might look nice on the back. 
Okay. So maybe, oh, that's kind of pretty. That would be neat. All right, let's put that on the back. Okay, so we're just going to make something. This is just a random something. Um, it's a nothing that's going to become a something. Let me get you oriented here. What are you doing all over there? Come back. Stay, stay in your lane, Pam. <laughs> Not you guys, me. All right, okay. You know what it is. You get so excited, or I get so excited about talking to you, and then I completely forget where the camera is pointed. Okay. I've almost only done a thousand videos. You think I'd have this mastered by now? Apparently not. Okay. Okay. I want to say it's kind of in the. Okay, so it's mostly this way. Let's just do this. Yeah. Okay. We got that. And then we're going to grab this. And we're going to. Well. I won't do it straight with that. Let's get this serious stuff. There, you're out of the frame again. Look at that. Right? I, I leave you alone for two seconds, and there, you're gone. Oh, we're going to have words. Okay. Cutting. Hope this is sharp. All right. It should cut like butter if it's sharp. Okay? Did we say that with enough emphasis? Because it really should. So I'm just making, I don't know, journal card, something like that. Oh, look. Even the things we're cutting off, we can use. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Now, why would I want to do anything more? I really don't need to do anything more. Just leave it as is. It's pretty. Don't mess with what's working, Pam. All right, but we might want to mess. We might. Am I going to round my corners? I'm rounding my corners. I'm doing it again. I'm not stopping. Now, what else can we do with this little guy? Well, that's really pretty just the way it is. I like that. Sometimes you don't have to go through a lot of must fuss, you know what I mean? It's, it's very acceptable to do simple. You don't have to do complicated and dramatic. No, 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 it's not necessary. Yeah, it's, some, it's nice to have eye rest places. Little items in your journal, make maybe plain pieces of paper or a one plain piece of paper with one rubber stamp on it just to have it look like a piece of stationery, something like that. And just, just let that be. That's just what it is. Okay, so that's kind of good. I'm going to go around and just ink up the back, make a little, little more vintage here. Yeah. And I think I'm just going to leave this as a big piece. So you could just sit here and n commit. You're not leaving your desk until you use up every scrap on it. And where would you be at the end of the day? You would never leave your desk. I, I'm telling you, it, it's going to happen. So I'm going to, I'm going to probably come and ruin this entirely. But I'm just going to follow the stencil outline to emphasize the shapes of these beautiful stenciled images. And anything I would say that is on the right or the downside, I will do this for. Like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, scanning, scanning. Okay. Now, I'm not like a professional at this or anything, and you really don't have to be, so that's okay. But it just sort of helps delineate what you're doing. It just makes it pop a little bit more. See that? Yeah. Gives it kind of a shadow cast. What you can do... Let me bring it a little closer, since we're, we're playing. We're, 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 we're all right. We know each other. Um, we're going to double line it and see what that does. I'm actually... I've never done this before. I'm just making it up as I go. I just wondered if it would give it extra emphasis or will it look just plain silly? We're going to find out. Oop, that one went awry, as they do sometimes. You get these little crazy ideas and you just go for it. Oop, got to follow the line. That's the kicker. When you're not that good, you kind of hope for like that edgy look, like it was meant to look like that. Okay, does that increase the shadow? Oh, let me look at it this way. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, a little, a little weird around the, that, but, but you know, we can roll with it. That's okay. Oh, I think I'm going to go this way too. Give him a double. There we go. That's better. I could do something to make that better. What could I do? Put another little line in there? No, that probably made it worse. I just time to back away. Back away, Pam. Just leave that alone. Yeah. Um, nope. 
she's going in. She's going to do something else. That's right. Can't leave well enough alone. Put some dots. Yep. You can just keep going with the amplification on that side of it. Just for fun. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Now I want to play. <laughs> All right. Let's just try a little more of this side stuff. I forgot about this over here. Okay. That's good. Double it up. Not perfect, but not bad. Okay. Do, yep, don't know humming. Okay. YouTube doesn't like that. <laughs> All right. Oh, that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Yeah. And I feel like I want to stamp a word or something there. These words are upside down, but I don't care. Um, we're just going to stamp a word there because we can. I got a nice word here. Here's a word. Inspire. Okay, we're going to inspire. All right. There we go. Dunsies. Yeah, now we have that. Isn't that pretty? Like basically, out of nothing, just had a couple pieces of paper we were goofing around with, and now we have that. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so we have these two things. Now, it's time to do the drawing. Okay, we have uh, 294 see that right there 294 comments today so this thing is working and now we're going to hit the start button will it be you that wins the um wartime 1944 envelope with stana swisher congratulations um there we go uh congratulations donna just let me know uh, email me at pam at the paper outpost that you are the winner of today's dates uh would be the 20 i don't know whenever whenever it is and um I'm going to say it wrong. So uh, you won the letter, uh, wartime letter. That's that's what we'll call it. There you go. Okay, let me find fluffer pants. Okay, uh, we have somebody who would like to say something. Hello, everybody. It's Sunshine. It's very serious. Canine reporter. Look, that's very nice artwork back there, Mother. I approve. I greatly approve. Okay, so I'm a little dirty because I went for a walk. And let me just say I'm like a canine mop out there. I just pick up everything. I go from snow white to ashen gray in seconds. That's right, that's what I do. But mostly, I'm on security alert, checking, 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 checking for squirrels, leaves, anything, lizards that move that should not be in the area. I make sure they're not in the area. Um, that's it. Gotta go. Bye. Sunshine out. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sunshine. All right, so folks, you don't know. I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. The link is down below. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. Podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. I have an Etsy shop that contains journals and bundles and kits when they're available. I um, always have fundals available, which are collections of old and interesting ephemera, 100 plus pieces, free shipping is included. Um, I also sell digi kits, which are printable downloads, um, five pages of themed images, birds, Victorian, dragonflies, butterflies, you name it. Um, there's tons of them to pick from. And I also have a print and mail option for the DigiKits. If you don't like to print or don't have a printer, you just purchase the print and mail option and then send me the list of your DigiKit names to pam at the um, or through Etsy message. I only need the first two or three words and then uh, there you go. I will mail that off to you. Um, that also comes with free priority mail shipping. And I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies that you see me use here. I have a merchandise shop if you're looking for gifts, like uh, anything with Create with Reckless Abandon on it, or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. Um, you can get that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip hoodie, mug tote, or water bottle. And you can find me on all the social media platforms. And remember most of all that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.